Hey, I'm Josh Paulison, a story engineer. Today we'll be reverse engineering The Last Man on Earth, Season 2, Episode 7, titled Baby Steps. Warning, spoilers for this episode and the series up to this point are ahead. Today we're going to be talking about the Oversalesman. The Oversalesman is a character type we can use and is characterized by these traits. Always looking for a return on sales, they try really hard to get in everybody's good graces, they are very fake, and they focus on parts of the truth they like or perhaps they throw out to the truth entirely. Let's look at a little bit of this episode here. Oh wow, that's a lot of chips. Did she say which kind she wanted? Do you think it matters? Wow, what am I saying? Of course it matters. I don't know. What about these? Scoops, Todd? Really? She's not four years old. Come on, think. Oh, God. You know what? I'll just get them all. Except for Scoops. Friggin' shiz, dude. So what do you want? Uh, nacho cheese, mission style, unsalted, extra salt. Do you have any Scoops? Scoops, huh? <laughs> you like Scoops? They're my favorite. Oh. I don't have any scoops. <laughs> okay, well, these will work. Okay, well, next time you're gonna get scoops, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go take my wine for a walk. Thanks, Tandy. You're welcome, Gail. Uh, I should be thanking you. <laughs> God, just remember the Tandy man can and will. So for context, earlier Gail had asked Phil to get her some tortilla chips. But the key here isn't necessarily the decision that he made as far as which chips to get her, but his attitude throughout the whole thing. This is kind of an innocuous example of something that gets really toxic throughout the series. Unlike Tandy, earlier Phil, in the first season, Tandy is no longer as toxic as he was then. He's still really problematic, but he's learned a lot, which is great. But he's still a big over-salesman. By the way, if you're interested in looking at how characters can change dramatically, check out podcast episode 37, How Characters Change, where we study Snow White with the red hair. We went over some great notes on that that are very applicable to this series as well. The oversalesman is a type you can employ in your own works to get some of the following results, which we have seen throughout this series. Number one, misinformation. The oversalesman may be a liar or perhaps just sends out overblown or understated expectations. Either way, this results in a spread of misinformation. Number two, mystery. Other people are uncertain or confused about the oversalesman intentions and why they are doing what they are doing. Number three, mistrust. This is sure to blow up in the oversalesman's face eventually because they aren't being totally honest. Other people will begin to mistrust him or her. So let's say that you want a team of heroes to have misinformation spread throughout. You can have a toxic oversalesman in their midst. The great thing about an oversalesman is that due to these being core traits that they might not be able to get over, you can get rid of the oversalesman easily if some of the other characters have good boundaries, which can actually unify the other characters in their own team further too. Or say you have a business shrouded in mystery in your story. An oversalesman may help to create that mystery and make everyone, characters or audience, uncertain about what's really going on. Or maybe you have a non-profit company in your story that oversells or focuses only on the good stuff. Other people are going to start to see through that and figure out that things aren't all rainbows and butterflies and they're going to begin to mistrust the oversalesman and perhaps the company as well. You can use an oversalesman to get reasonable reactions out of logical people and help move the story overall forward. It's a type of liar who can be caught, but perhaps also has a chance to either A, be completely booted off, or B, come back and change because they really do want other people's good graces. So if you need any of these dynamics in your story, has the oversalesman got something for you? Case closed! Thank you for listening. Subscribe for a new episode each week. To get podcast notes for new episodes, go to joshpaulson.com and subscribe to the mailing list. I wish you the best in all of your storytelling endeavors.